These are aspiration precautions in patients with intestinal obstruction. Patients with intestinal obstruction are considered full stomach and they are at high aspiration risk due to that obstruction. So you have an obstruction and things back up behind the obstruction, making you at high risk for nausea, vomiting, and aspiration, especially if you're gonna induce and intubate. Before induction of anesthesia or before placement of a tube, you wanna place a nasogastric tube uh, while the patient is awake to decompress the stomach. You can also administer a non-particulate antacid to increase the gastric pH. Some practitioners consider removing the NG tube before induction. Um, unclear if there's a correct way for that. For induction itself, you want to perform a rapid sequence induction. You want to avoid mask ventilation, which risks gastric insufflation. And you want to use succinylcholine or high-dose rocuronium. Some contraindications, don't use nitric oxide, it risks bowel perforation, and you want to avoid metoclopramide or Reglan because it can increase peristalsis and further increase the risks of intestinal perforation.